Superhero movies have been a major part of the cinematic landscape of 2017, with Logan, Wonder Woman, and Thor Ragnarok standing out from the crowd. In 2018, it looks like the superhero genre will dominate even more, kicking off in February with a slate of movies that will keep fans excited all year. Whether you prefer The Avengers, Spider-Man, The X-Men, The Justice League, or even Pixar, there will be at least one superhero movie for you next year. Here are the movies coming out in 2018 that should excite any comic book fan. Black Panther Chadwick Boseman first debuted as the Black Panther in Captain America Civil War, but his first solo outing should give us a much more satisfying trip to Wakanda. Directed by Ryan Coogler, the film clearly follows the pattern of Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor Ragnarok, in allowing a visionary director to put his own spin on a Marvel movie rather than adhering to a house style. Black Panther's combination of high-octane action and visual splendor is like nothing else we've seen on screen before. Coogler is responsible for Fruitville Station and Creed, both of which starred Michael B. Jordan, and he'll re-team with his frequent screen star in this movie as well, with Jordan playing villain Eric Killmonger. The rest of the impressive cast includes veterans Angela Bassett and Forrest Whitaker, up-and-comers Danai Guerrera, Lupita Nunga, and Daniel Kuluya. From everything we've seen of Black Panther so far, we're in for a wild ride when his pick hits theaters on February 16th. The New Mutants This X-Men spin-off looks to play off its horror aspects rather than resembling just another ordinary superhero movie. The original 1980s New Mutants comic series has always had one foot in the horror genre, and this cinematic adaptation looks to capitalize on that thrill appeal. The characters at the center are each marked by dark roots. Magic is a demonic witch who literally grew up in hell. Wolfsbane is a werewolf. Mirage is haunted by a demonic bear spirit that wiped out her family. From the trailer, it looks like the movie is going to incorporate all of that and place the characters in an unsettling institutional setting. The X-Men franchise has had its ups and downs, but by far the best of its films has been Logan, which had a much darker take than most. Superhero horror tales aren't your ordinary popcorn fare, but who knows, maybe the new mutants will usher in a new era altogether when it begins haunting the Cineplex on April 13th. Avengers Infinity War no doubt this is the event movie every Marvel fan has been waiting for since the MCU first launched with Iron Man a decade before. The Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and more will join forces to take on the ultimate threat to the universe in Avengers Infinity War. Thanos, who first appeared in the mid credit scene of the Avengers, has been working in the background in the five years since, gathering the Infinity Stones that will give him the ultimate power over space and time. Now, all the heroes must unite to stop him from ruling the universe, or destroying it. This is going to be an epic like no superhero movie has been before, so count on hearing a lot about that Infinity Gauntlet when this thing blasts into theaters on May 4th. Deadpool 2 Although Ryan Reynolds was previously picked on for his first performance as the Merc with the Mouth in X-Men Origins Wolverine, he was able to redeem himself as the character in 2016's Deadpool. The film became both the highest-grossing X-Men movie and the highest-grossing R-rated movie. It's that R rating that enabled the film to capture Wade Wilson's unique combination of irreverent humor and extreme violence that made his comics so popular. This is a different kind of superhero story. If he's able to recapture that tone again in Deadpool 2, which features the first movie appearances of Cable and Domino, the sequel should bring even more four-letter words to the big screen when it bows into theaters June 1st. The Incredibles 2 more than a decade has passed since Pixar's The Incredibles proved that not all superheroes and villains have to originate in comic books. The animated flick captured the tone and visual style of classic superhero comics and blended it with a wholesome family comedy about finding the value in being different. Given its success, an immediate sequel seemed in order, but it's taken 14 years for Pixar to finally put The Incredibles 2 on the release slate. The good news for the fans of the original is that we don't have to worry about the characters having aged in the off time which means, yes, Jack-Jack is still a baby who's making a big old mess for those powerful parents. Check it out on June 15th. <laughs> Ant-Man and the Wasp 2015's Ant-Man turned out to be a fun and successful superhero outing, but Ant-Man and the Wasp looks to increase the intrigue by bringing in a second superhero in Evangeline Lilly's character Hope Van Dyne. She'll be the first Marvel heroine to have her name in the title of a film. And even though Lily is playing the original Wasp daughter, it's still exciting to see any version of the Wasp join the Marvel Cinematic Universe at long last. Count on this one to be fun and refreshing when it flies into screens July 6th. Venom Not many details have emerged about this adaptation of the popular Spider-Man villain and occasional anti-hero Venom. However, we know that Tom Hardy is playing the title part and director Ruben Fleischer will helm the pick. Fleischer first proved he could effectively mix humor and violence in 2009's Zombieland. So if that's the direction this film takes, it could be the Deadpool of the Sony Spider-Man universe. It's hard to imagine how you can introduce Venom in a film that doesn't include Spider-Man, but hopefully they can divert attention from that problem with a deft script and plenty of action. We'll find out soon enough as Venom arrives in theaters October 5th.
X-Men Dark Phoenix After all the time travel and continuity chaos of the last few X-Men movies, the ending of X-Men Apocalypse finally introduced a stable team of heroes who could move forward as a unit. Dark Phoenix will pick up with that collection of heroes, but will immediately make them face earth-shattering chaos as Jean Grey's powers start spinning out of control. There are also rumors that Dark Phoenix will take the X-Men into outer space, a setting for many of their comic stories not yet visited in the movies. If so, circle November 2, 2018 on your calendar twice, because this one will be a must-see. Untitled Animated Spider-Man Movie When news was coming out about Spider-Man's arrival in the MCU, a lot of fans were disappointed that it was Peter Parker appearing in Spider-Man Homecoming rather than his successor in the role, Miles Morales. So Sony has made an effort to appease those fans by making an animated Spider-Man movie focused on Morales. The character will be voiced by Shameik Moore, and while not many other details are out so far, this movie is already sounding like it will be a lot of fun when it casts its web on audiences starting December 14, 2018. Aquaman Although Justice League certainly had its share of flaws, one of the more appealing characters in the film was Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and in just over a year he'll get his own movie to swim around in. In it, Amber Heard will return as Mira, who had a brief cameo in Justice League. Patrick Wilson will play Aquaman's evil half-brother, the Ocean Master, while Yahya Abdul-Mateen is set to appear as co-villain Black Manta. Meanwhile, William Defoe plays the wise Atlantean Volko, with Nicole Kidman and Timur Morrison as Aquaman's parents. All that, the movie's directed by James Wan, who's proven his merit with both thriller and action movies. So count on Aquaman to make a splash when it lands in theaters December 21st. Batman! Batman Ninja Batman's seen and done a lot of things over his decades as one of DC's premier crime fighters, but he's never undertaken a quest quite like the one he'll face in Batman Ninja. This animated feature sees the Cape Crusader, along with the Bat Family and some members of his rogues gallery, hurled through space and time to medieval Japan, where they find themselves in the midst of a battle between good and evil. The animated project promises a fresh and visually stunning perspective on some of the publisher's most venerable characters, so look for it on Blu-ray and DVD sometime in 2018. Suicide Squad – Hell to Pay the live-action Suicide Squad movie was something less than a home run for Warner Brothers and DC, but the anti-hero group has been one of the publisher's best-loved creations for years, and with the right adaptation, they could easily make a more successful jump to the screen. Maybe animation is the answer, and we'll find out in 2018. While 2014's Batman Assault on Arkham was an animated DC movie featuring the Suicide Squad, it was set in the universe of the Batman Arkham video game series. Little is known about Suicide Squad held to pay so far, but it's set to introduce Task Force X into DC's animated movie continuity and also feature the Justice League and Teen Titans. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.